Hello, I'm Bill Swafford and this is Murderers in Ohio. I recently just took a trip down to Pike County to go down Union Hill Road, which is where eight members of the Roden family were murdered. That was the first time that I have ever been to Pike County. If you have not seen my video of my trip to Pike County, please go ahead and check it out. While doing that video, I started thinking there's a lot of places in Ohio that I have never been to. And I've lived in Ohio most of my life. So I come up with something that I would like to try to do right here on Murders in Ohio. And this will only be on YouTube. I'm going to try to take a trip to every county in Ohio to check out at least one murder location. Something like this will take me quite a while. I don't know if it's going to be one video a month or one video a week. It all depends on the subscribers and how everyone likes the videos. I do have a county map and I will mark off the counties as I visit each county. I have created a playlist on the channel for the videos of my trips throughout the counties of Ohio. The playlist is called a trip to the Ohio counties. So make sure you hit the like button and share the videos that you like with everyone. If you are not a subscriber, make sure that you go ahead and subscribe now. In this video, I'm going to go to a location outside of the small town of Bradford, which is in Dark County. Dark County is in the southwestern part of the state of Ohio. I'm going to go out to Martin Road and look for a farmhouse. At this farmhouse in March of 2003, Greg Myers killed both of his grandparents. Authorities say that Jack and Linda Myers lost their lives over their farm and the 40 acres of land that they owned. I will be talking more about this case throughout the video. So once again, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. I am Bill Swafford. This is Murderers in Ohio. Let's take a trip to Dark County. There is a lot of farmland in Dark County. Farmland that has been passed down through families for generations. Farmers in Dark County grow a lot of corn. Jack and Linda Myers own a farmhouse on Martin Road outside of Bradford, Ohio. It is a white two-story farmhouse with a long driveway. There are a couple of big red barns on the property, and everything is surrounded by cornfields. On March 27th of 2003, Jack and Linda's great-grandson had gone into their bedroom. The young boy found his grandparents dead in their bed. The young boy took off out of the house and went down the long driveway and ran one mile down Martin Road 
to a daycare center, and that is where he got help. Dark County Sheriff's deputies would show up at the Myers farmhouse. There they would find Jack and Linda in bed. It appeared as though they had been shot with a 12-gauge shotgun. Law enforcement ruled out a robbery gone bad. They started to look at the Myers' two sons. The oldest son had an alibi, so they looked at the youngest son, who had financial problems and would be the person to inherit the Myers' farm. Their son, 25-year-old Greg Myers. Law enforcement would need some evidence. They found a witness who claimed that Greg had gone around looking for a shotgun. He even told the person that he wanted to shoot his parents. Law enforcement would find the murder weapon in the Stillwater River along with some other evidence in a bag. Greg Myers was found guilty in 2004 and was sentenced to two life sentences without the possibility of parole.
shit. Half a mile, turn right onto Children's Home Bradford Road. Look for one mile. on the Martin Road. Thousand feet, turn right. Hope you enjoyed that video of the trip to Dark County. Make sure to hit that like button and share the video with everyone you know. If you have not subscribed, make sure you subscribe now. That way you can join me for other trips 
to other counties of Ohio. I am Bill Swafford and this has been Murderers in Ohio. We got the devil on the road in Ohio.